Crawley on Saturday. But we're getting to it on the back of a good home performance and a good point. How pleased are you to keep that, that run going and that positivity going as well? Yeah, really pleased. It, um, I thought it was a really energetic uh, showing from the players and um, they came in good spirits as a result of that on Monday and taking it into the training sessions. So, yeah, it, it, I thought all individuals turned up and, and played um, really, it took part in a really passionate display in front of the home fans, so it was really uplifting. Yeah, a tough place to go as well, Crawley. It'll be a long journey. So, how do you how do you prepare for that one? Um, same as always, just trying try to be uh, ever as we want the sessions to be lively in training um, and set the tone. So it's um, quite habitual, really, and you know, and and um, it's in the psyche of every player. You know what what we need to bring to the table each day. So you know, we know it's going to be a hard uh, hard game. Uh, I think to start the season well, Crawley, and um, score goals. Very expansive. Very fluid way of playing, stay well coached, so um, tricky opponents. Yeah, and obviously, you know, you speak about getting on and on and, and, and sort of building on what we've achieved so far this season. Mm. Does the fact of playing away from home in this game help? You know, how well we have played away from home this season, playing well at home now in the last game, it's, it's again a chance to build and where we have shown we can do it. I'd like to think it gives us another layer of confidence um, in what we've, what we've got here uh, moving forwards, but. Um, away from home, you, you know we're proud of uh, recent displays and record, um, and we have to keep building on it uh, tally-wise um, to keep building momentum. So there's every incentive to do well and keep that for uh, momentum um, ongoing. And you know it's a game that we're, we're we're definitely looking forward to, but obviously we can't take it lightly because of the difficulty of the opposition. Yeah, you made a few changes in the last couple of weeks, like so Jack Muldoon and that coming in. Mm. He gets his goal on Saturday. A lot of food for thought in terms of your team selection for that one. Yes, absolutely, and hopefully a couple of the injured uh, come back into the fray as well. So looking forward to that, you know. And um, but just about to walk out and watch training now, so we'll see how they fare. Um, want it very competitive. Um, we don't want to be um, too predictable, but there has to be a consistency of method too, so everybody knows the roles. Yeah, Josh Falkham had to settle for a place on the bench on, on Saturday there. How difficult was the decision that for you? Because, you know, he brings so much, but bringing somebody like Stephen Dooley and Dean Cornelius, two players that, that really complement each other quite well. Mm. Yeah, well, uh, it's it's never an easy decision not to include a skipper because he's, he's a talisman of the team. Um, but there's a lot of games, you know, this season and we've got to look after individuals and, and learn from previous seasons, probably where we've overexerted a certain few uh, and we've ended up breaking down as a result of that with three injuries and then you're weaker as a uh, as a squad and we don't want that and we don't want that for Falks or, or other big players so um, you know but I thought Dill stepped into the breach perfectly uh, well indeed on Saturday and so did Dino and there's a partnership they grew in confidence Yeah and obviously speaking about getting injured players back one player that won't be back is, is Toby Sims just yet just sum up your, your thoughts for him because you know it was such a good campaign for him last season mm. to have this injury now how How's he done? Yeah, well, uh, we continue talking. Um, he, he still wants to be a part of it when he can, you know, when we have team meetings. Or, um, but it, it's it's difficult for a player that's not probably had that kind of uh, type of injury before where he's out for any length of time. Um, and we're hoping um, he's back sooner rather than later, obviously, because he's, he's a really good player for us and a good character. But, um, you know, it is difficult as a pro. Uh, but all the same, you know, it's what most players go through. Um, and we think he was equipped to deal with it. Yeah, finally, away from, from our game on Saturday, the youth team have been drawn against Brighton at home in the, the FA Youth Cup. You must be pleased for them to have that experience, and especially at home, uh, at the environment as well. Yeah, it should be a good occasion. We're, we're, we're all looking forward to watching that. Um, difficult opposition for, for them, but the one that they'll be up for, and um, it's an exciting tie, isn't it?